corn is a vital crop here in the Texas Panhandle. However, corn requires the most vital thing to all life, water. Follow this little corn plant's journey from seed to corn cob as it puts its water to good use. In the very first part of its life, the corn plant spends most of its time growing its stalk, leaves, and roots. These individual stages are called vegetative stages because they have to do with the overall growth of the plant. Each stage is marked by the collar and how many leaves the plant has. These stages are written with a capital V, followed by the number of leaves the plant has in that stage. For example, the stage where the corn plant has one leaf is written as V1, which stands for vegetative stage 1, V2 for vegetative stage 2, and so on. However, each stage has its own set of events that make each different from the others. The VE stage, or vegetative emergence stage, is the time when the plant is emerging from the ground. The planted seed will absorb 30% of its weight in water, and from there the primary root will emerge quickly. Simultaneously, the protective sheath for the leaves comes from the embryo side of the seed and pushes to the surface with the first, thin stem of the plant. The stem surrounds the first leaves that will open once the structure approaches the soil surface. V1 refers to the stage in which the corn plant receives its very first leaf and has a collar visible. In the V2 stage, the plant will receive its second leaf. However, most of the action is happening in the roots as new roots emerge and the original roots begin to deteriorate. The plant is mostly safe from frost and cold unless the temperature is extreme or the plant is planted too close to the surface. The fourth leaf makes its appearance in the V4 stage. At this point, the new roots have become dominant. The leaves remain at the very top peak of the plant. Progress continues with the arrival of the plant's sixth leaf in stage V6. The very first leaf begins to deteriorate, but the plant continues to grow. The new roots are established in the lowest part of the plant below the ground. V10 is marked by the arrival of the tenth leaf. Water and nutrient requirements increase. In V14, the plant will experience rapid growth and is only about two weeks away from flowering. At this point, the plant is very sensitive to heat and drought. Therefore, its demand for water increases. The next stage, VT, is slightly different from its numbered companions and stands for vegetative stage with tassel. The tassel is a structure at the top of the plant that aids in reproduction and appears when this stage begins. Potential kernels per row are set, although potential grain number and size are yet unknown. Silks may start appearing or they may not. The plant is nearly at its full height. Since the tassel is completely exposed, hail would damage and even destroy the corn if it were to occur. The next portion of the corn plant's life, while separated into fewer stages, is just as important to the life of the plant. This portion is the reproductive phase and is broken into six sections. The reproductive stages are written with an R and a number for the specific stage. For example, R1 means reproductive stage 1, R2 means reproductive stage 2, and so on. In this section, the corn will reach its full height and the corn husks are created and matured. Also, a substance called silk will form within the ear to aid in pollination. Silk is essentially the stringy things we remove along with the husk before eating sweet corn. In R1, silking begins in earnest. In addition to reaching its maximum height, the plant has begun to silk. The first silks emerge and are attached to the potential kernels near the base of the ear and are active until pollination is complete. Pollen travels from the tassel to the silks to fertilize the potential kernels, or ovules. Potential kernel number can now be determined. Environmental conditions are very important during this growth stage. Lack of moisture can stress the corn, causing poor pollination or kernel set. R2 is also known as the blister stage. The silks have begun to darken and dry out in this time while kernels are white and look like blisters full of clear liquid. Cell division is complete and the grains begin to fill. The R3, or milk stage, marks when the kernels are yellow and full of white, milk-like fluid. Silks dry out and the fluid itself comes from the starch being accumulated in the kernel. In stage R4, or dough, the starchy milk inside the kernels has become dough-like in consistency. Rapid accumulation of the starch and nutrients occurs. The kernels now have 70% moisture and begin to dent at the top. By R5, the kernels are fully dented and the moisture declines to 55% as the starch content increases. R6 marks the full maturity of the corn, and kernels reach their maximum dry weight. A black layer forms at the base of the kernel, blocking movement of dry matter and nutrients from the plant. Fun fact, not all corn is allowed to mature all the way. Sweet corn, for example, is usually stopped growing in the milk R3 or dough R4 stages. This is because as the corn kernels mature, they get smaller, and nobody wants little tiny kernels on their corn on the cob.